When it comes to reflex bag training, the possibilities are endless. Hey, 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 okay. Without a doubt, it's one of the best ways to improve your cardio endurance and learn and develop boxing technique. But before you get into the fancy stuff, you're gonna wanna get comfortable with the six basic punches of boxing. So today we're gonna run through the six key punches and some tips for how to effectively throw and land on a reflex bag, which is a little bit different than a heavy bag or mitt training or anything you might've been used to before. Feel free to throw your gloves on, you can jump right in. Now this is gonna be a pretty quick walkthrough, assuming that you have some training experience, maybe you've done some boxing classes. We're gonna go through the punches, but more importantly, focus on how to effectively land them on a reflex bag. First thing that we wanna do is get into our boxing stance in front of our bag. We've got our dominant hand and foot in the back. So for me, I'm a righty. I've got my right arm and my right leg in the back. I'm gonna put my back leg just out in front. So I'm nice and balanced here on the balls of my feet. When in doubt, we wanna be on train tracks, not a balance beam. I'm on train tracks, so I have stability here. Right lined up with my bag. We've got our bag right about chin level. First, we have the one, which is the lead straight or the jab. Really simple. Anytime it's lead, it's the hand that's in front. For that one, I'm just gonna fully extend my arm and then come back into my chin. Mostly all upper body here with the one. So when we're hitting on a reflex bag, timing is everything. If you've done some heavy bag classes before, you've never really had to think about timing. You can just kind of stand in front and slug away. But here it's all about timing. So what we want to do is we want to throw that one at full extension, turning over our punch. And we want to think about two things here. Number one is where we're hitting the bag. And number two is when we're hitting the bag. So we want to hit the bag right when it comes back to center. I'm hitting it in a straight line. I'm waiting for it to line up in the center and then firing again. Now, once we get practice, we start to get comfortable with where that center is and we can throw a little bit faster. Early on, we wanna take our time in between each shot, waiting for that bag to get set so we can get our timing down. We wanna make sure we're breathing on every punch. I'm aiming right down the center line. Next is gonna be the two, which is our rear straight. Now for the two and everything up, we're gonna drive a little bit more power off the ground. So it's gonna start with our lower body and then extend up through our core and then our arms. So on the two, which is our rear straight, we're gonna pivot that back foot and then fully extend our arm. Bang, bang. So on the bag, same idea as when we're practicing the one, I'm focused on when I'm punching and where. Waiting for that bag to get back in center and then extending right through the center of my bag in a straight line. If I hit my bag and it spins out crazy out of control, chances are I didn't hit it in the right spot or I didn't turn over that punch. So those are the things that we wanna be focused on. Early on, we just wanna be standing in place so we get comfortable with the timing. Once I get my timing down, I can start moving around and changing angles. But before I do that, I wanna get nice and comfortable just from my stance. Next, we have the three, which is the lead hook. We break it down in a couple steps. First, I'm gonna kick my elbow up, my wrist turns out to 90 degrees, and then I'm gonna pivot my foot and drive that hook across my body. Think about it with my foot like I'm squashing a bug. Now the hooks are really tricky on the reflex bag. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our time in between each shot. If you miss, just stay balanced. Think about it like stirring a pot. It's all about practice. The more I throw that, the more comfortable I'm gonna be 
putting combinations together. Then we have the four, which is our rear hook. Same idea. I'm gonna elbow goes out, wrist turns out to 90 degrees, squash the bug with my back foot. Let's practice that four. Again, focus on where I'm connecting and when. And the answer is we know both is the center. I wanna punch when that bag comes back to the center and I wanna connect right down the center of my bag. That way I know it's gonna be in a straight line and I can get the timing down. I'm breathing on every punch. Now we have the five, which is our lead uppercut. For the five, instead of bringing my elbow up for the hook, it's just coming right from guard. So I'm putting my weight onto my lead foot and then hinging my hips to drive that punch up across my body. Now this one can be tricky too. For the reflex bag, typically you wanna start using a little bit more of your upper body. When you're learning boxing, they're gonna teach you to, to stay real low and to focus on transferring your weight. We wanna do that too with the reflex bag, but early on it's okay if I wanna use more of my upper body to kinda of get the timing down. And then lastly, we have the six, which is our rear uppercut. Same thing, I'm coming right from guard, hinging my hips and driving up across my body. Hitting right down the center, that's how I know where that bag is gonna be. Early on, I wanna start at less than 50% power so I can really understand the timing and how my punches affect the bag's movement. And that's it, those are your six key punches and I'll leave you with a couple takeaways. I mentioned it before, but if you're brand new to boxing training, you're gonna wanna start with a more comprehensive breakdown. Go to the homepage on my channel and start with the beginner to pro series. Episode one is the stance and punches. It's a much slower, thoughtful breakdown, which will help and then just follow the rest of the videos in order. And that's all I got for you. Don't forget to throw your boy a like, comment, let me know what kind of drill you'd like to see next. And definitely subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'm dropping new drills and full follow along workouts every single week. And I'll see you again real soon. Hey. Wah, wah. Wah. Hey, hey.